going to do a stage two um, or uh, full gaps uh, recipe for breakfast casserole. It's very, very, very delicious. Um, so let's take a look at what uh, ingredients we're going to need. Okay, we're going to need uh, four cups of shredded cauliflower or about a half of a large cauliflower. I don't shred it, I actually just cut it up so you can feel free to shred it or just cut it up. And then I do about a half of uh, onion and you can use any kind of onion you like. And again, it can be shredded or just cut it up. I just chop it up. Uh, then we are going to need about two cups of homemade sausage. I did not video me making the sausage, but I will share with you the recipe in a little bit here of how you can make that delicious sausage. Um, and then 16 beaten eggs. So that's the basic recipe for stage two. So in stage two is when we start introducing eggs and we're trying to have as many as we can, six to 12 eggs a day. And um, this is a great way to start getting some in there. If you can tolerate cheese or you're on the full gaps, you can do two cups of shredded cheese. Remember, we wanna make sure we shred our own cheese. Um, this is cheddar, cheddar is a hard cheese that works well for people who have gaps issues. But um, again, we wanna shred it ourselves because in things that you get that are pre-shredded, they'll all often have an anti-caking agent on it, which is not good for you and really bothers a lot of people. Sometimes it actually has gluten or other grains in it that we are trying to avoid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix the all these things together the sausage the cheese and the um, cauliflower and onion and then if you can't do the cheese you just leave it out we're going to mix that all together and then we're going to put it in our large baking dish okie dokie and if this is too much for you you can half the recipe the original recipe is actually half but I double it and um, then I can freeze some and have it ready for later so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it all together and then I'm gonna bring you back and show you what we're gonna do with the eggs they're so cute look so sweet and innocent there I love you baby okay I've got everything mixed up and I put it in the casserole dish so what you do except for the eggs what you do is you take the eggs and you're just gonna pour it over the top of all the goodness in the, the uh, casserole dish. And I leave maybe a quarter cup of cheese out and then sprinkle it over the top. You don't have to do that, but I will go through and do that and then show you what it looks like. Okay, mission accomplished. So we've got the egg poured over and the cheese on top. And now I'm gonna put it in a, three, a preheated 350 degree oven and I'll leave it there for 40 minutes and then I'm gonna check it and see how much longer I need to go. It normally runs about an hour for the full large pan, uh, but my oven is special. So <laughs> I always check it at 40 minutes and then check it about every five to 10 minutes and see when I'm ready. But you, want it, you just don't want it to be soupy in the middle and you want everything to be cooked. This is coming from a book or a, re or a recipe book, a cookbook called Internal Bliss, grain-free, refined, sugar-free, lactose-free recipes. So um, I highly recommend this one. It is in my Amazon store and um, it really works well for people who are gapsters. All right, I will come back and let you know how our breakfast casserole is going. What's happened there, Miss Crafty? Taking a little nap next to the boogie board and the fins. Alrighty, chickadees. Our breakfast casserole is done. It was right at 40 minutes. So we were running a little hot today, but that's probably because it's really hot outside here in Honolulu. 
One thing I didn't mention is you need to grease your pan. So greases that are usable are gonna be ghee. That is what I prefer. Um, homemade ghee is best, but you can also purchase it um, from US Wellness Meats, a good brand. Um, you can use butter if you like, you can use lard, you can use tallow, but it needs to be a real fat. None of that Crisco garbage. All right, I am gonna go do my sexy sunning for about 45 minutes down at my pool and then uh, come up and taste this, but I will let this cool down because it's a boiling. Get my sexy sunning in. Okie dokie, breakfast of champions. Breakfast casserole, strawberries with kefir. All right, I'll meet you over and we'll taste it. Well, I am back from my sexy sunning and it's time to test it out. <sighs> Delicious. All right, each batch is different, so let's see how this one turned out. Yummy. Mmm, delicious. Mm, I love it. Okay, I'll take one more bite. For those of you who have a more salty palate, you can add salt to it. I generally, um, I'll eat this with sauerkraut sometimes, so I, I don't always put extra salt in there, but if you like salt or salty stuff, you can add more salt to it. Now what I wanted to do is tell you the recipe for the uh, sausage here. So it's in the same book, The Internal Bliss. And um, the breakfast casserole is on page 91, just so you know. And then I think it's a couple pages back. Yes, so it's on page 93 is the sausage. And the sausage actually, um, it's a honey pork sausage patty, but I don't add the honey. I'll tell you how I do it, but you can go look it up. I generally double it. So um, two pounds of ground pork, three, oh, I'm sorry, six cloves of garlic crushed, uh, two teaspoons of salt, uh, four teaspoons of onion chopped or grated, and then four teaspoons of ginger freshly grated, a half a teaspoon of dried sage, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, and then ghee. And how I do it is I um, take all the ingredients and just mix them together. And then I uh, put ghee in a fry pan and then I fry this all up. And then I use two cups of it for the breakfast sausage uh, inside of the casserole. It's really good on its own. So you could also turn that into patties or whatever you needed for your sausage. This time I actually used a pound of ground pork and a pound of fresh side cut into little strips. And it's really good. So, um, so you can do it for the casserole. Another, both of these things are some of my husband's favorites. He's still shooting, so he's not here right now, but um, he loves the sausage just on its own, and then he also loves the breakfast casserole. So it doesn't last long around here, but you can freeze it. So uh, if you need to, this is a great thing. You can freeze either in individual pieces. If you need a real fast, you know, get out the door food, um, it's power packed with nutrition. will keep you going a long time during the day. So. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you try this recipe. Let me know if you do and let me know how it went or if you have any questions or if I forgot to add something or tell you something, add that in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Aloha.